Hello UTSA Summer Engineering Camp Counselors. My name is Ruben Acevedo and I'm going to be showing us a couple of steps required to show our campers uh, some of these labs that we have prepared for them. And so we're going to be begin things off with our Arduino lab. So it's going to revolve around the Arduino microcontroller here, which is a small printed circuit board and microcontroller that will be able to be programmed to do very simple things as well as this Backyard Brains kit. And so we're going to refer to this lab as the Backyard Brains, uh, Backyard Brains Experiment because they're the company that has brought us this kit. And it's a small shield to be interfaced with the Arduino, connected to a computer, and it'll do something really cool. But we'll go into those details in a second. In each kit, now all these kits are going to be made available for all the campers. In this Backyard Brains box, you'll find three things. There's the shield, the spiker shield itself. And when I say shield, like a sword and shield, it refers to any printed circuit board uh, that's meant to sit on top and connect and interface with the Arduino. Uh, so this shield will be able to do specifically what we want it to do. If you look on this end, it has this interface of these color-coded ports, red, black, and white. On the bottom, it has these small standoff pegs. These legs will serve as a contact points to sit within the female portions of the Arduino board. Set that aside for a second. Inside the box, we also have these adhesive sticky pads that are kind of like biometric sensors. So in the center, it's got a metal nub that will attach to the cables inside of here. And then that soft adhesive will go on our muscles on our arms and it'll read the electric impulse of your muscle contractions to then show both on this LED array and on the screen of our computers. So it'll be really neat to show uh, the campers both some very basic programming as well as a human interface device and uh, this should be a fun time for everybody. So to kick things off we've got our main uh, bits of hardware. The sticky pads, the wires, the spiker shield, and the Arduino. So in order to interface the Arduino with the computer, you'll need a USB cable. But that'll come with the kit, so we're perfectly fine. One end will have the regular type A USB that we're most used to interfacing. That will go onto a USB port on the computer. <laughs> and then the other end will be USB type B. Uh, you might be more familiar with this plugging into printers, but it's also the exact same uh, size and interface that goes into the Arduino. This silver portion here is where it will connect. So what that will serve as is it will both program the Arduino board and provide 5 volts of electricity so that we can uh, power all of this. To get you going, we're going to need some software. So. No matter what lab we end up doing this in, all of the UTSA engineering uh, computers will come preloaded with all the files and software that we need, most being the Arduino software. So if we go in here, either through um, flash drive or if I make a master Google Drive account or a Dropbox account, we will have a folder named Engineering Summer Camp 16, as in 2016. You double click in there, and we've got some more files and I've numbered them one and two respectively so we know uh, which ones to do first. So double click onto one serial, uh, serial test. There we are. Uh -huh. So when you click in there it brings you to this file here that has a small blue circle in a page Double clicking that will bring up the Arduino software itself and the code that we need to get all of this working. Like I said, our ultimate end goal is to place this on here, plug this into it, program it, plug in these wires, connect this to your arm, and then we'll be able to simply flex and it'll continue to work. Just so you keep that in mind. So, we're going to go to that file. Remember engineering folder brought us to here. 
click on number one, serial test, serial test, and then the actual file. When you double click that, it'll bring up the Arduino software. So it brings this window, and it'll have this characteristic like aquamarine, kind of greenish blue, uh, so that you know you're in the Arduino software. And then it comes pre-compiled with this code. So this code will be fun to show uh, the campers not exactly what's going on here. We can't go into full detail as to what they're looking at, uh, as not everybody's going to have a programming background. But we can kind of tell them some of the things in bold. Uh, like if we can point out this word here, loop, it's going to mean that between this uh, bit of brackets, it's going to keep doing that uh, repetitively, repetitively um, until these conditions are met. So that'll be a nice little insight uh, into some basic programming, as well as something like this down here, serial print, and then what we have between these uh, parentheses. So serial print, it will push to the computer screen to say value equals, and we're going to see uh, an instance of that in a second. So we've got the software up, we've double clicked serial test 2014. This code is now ready to be uploaded to the Arduino board. So let me show you how we're going to accomplish that. So again, those contacts and those leads from the spiker shield are going to go into And they can be a little bit difficult to get in. And so if this plays uh, too much of an issue, we can try and get them pre-configured before anything else. So I'm just using a small screwdriver to push the legs in as much as I can, but remaining delicate enough that we don't bend these too far out of place. We just got to get them inside of the contact holes, and there it goes. Ta-da! So now those are all in the ports that they need to be in in order to communicate with the Arduino. So now essentially these ports go through here and talk to the microcontroller which will then talk through this USB cable to the computer. So if you look at the top part of it, it's got a bit of a rounded edge right here. It's got a bit of a rounded edge right here. That's going to be pointing up into, and you can tell that it matches that part. Plug that in. We'll get some blinking, and this green LED right here indicates that we are receiving power. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the cables. Kind of just lengthen them out, and I'll show you the ends of these. So one end has these alligator clips. Mm -hmm. The other end instead have these kind of component type inputs on them these terminals, and they're color-coded, so you can't get this part wrong. Red's on the very left, black is in the middle, and white is on the uh, very end. There we are. <laughs> All right. And with the other side of these clips, we're going to be attaching two of them to these sticky pads. So the only one we will not attach to a sticky pad, keep this in mind, is the white one. The white one will stay to the side. But red will attach to a sticky pad. Black will attach to a sticky pad. And you just open them up with the clip and put it onto that silver portion. And you see a lot here. It doesn't matter which one you put it on, because we're going to take them off and we're going to place them in our arms. There we are. We've got them here. Let me show you again. So there's the end of them. So black and red, you're going to be...